What if you have a lot of switches? Let's say you manage the network for a university campus, which might have 500 switches. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to configure VLANs on each one? Years ago, Cisco created a technology called VTP, or Virtual Trunking Protocol. This is no longer in the exam, but you might see it in the real world, so I'm going to give you a brief overview. VTP would allow us to configure VLANs on a single switch, and then have this configuration automatically pushed out to all the other switches. This means that we wouldn't need to go and configure each switch manually. So to make this work, switches are configured as one of three modes. They can be server, they can be client, or they can be transparent. Servers are configured with a list of VLANs. One or more server switches send this list in terms of VTP messages, which go out to all the switches in the VTP domain. The VTP domain name is also included in these messages. Client switches receive these messages and will pass them on to other clients. In addition, they automatically configure each VLAN they see in this list, as long as they are part of the same VTP domain, of course. The result is that you only configure the VLAN on the server switch, not on all switches. Be warned though, the VLAN list overwrites whatever is already configured, so if you make a mistake on the server, you may cause a problem across all switches in your network. Transparent switches, they'll see these VTP messages, but they'll only pass them on. They don't configure any VLANs themselves. In the case of these switches, they will still need manual VLAN configuration. Over time, a lot of people found that VTP was quite frankly more trouble than it's worth. As we said, a single mistake can bring down your entire network. Plus, there are better ways to configure your switches from one location, which we'll talk about in another section of this video series. So, my personal recommendation is that you set your switches to transparent mode. This will ignore any VTP messages that are seen, and your VLANs won't be overwritten. If you run the command show VTP status, you can see what mode your switch is in. In this case, you can see that the switch is a VTP server. So to change it, I'm going to jump into configuration mode, and I'm going to type in VTP mode transparent. There is a danger with putting a switch that has been previously configured into a live network. Can you think of what that danger might be, and how we may avoid it? <laughs> 